Baylor College of Medicine has always been committed to research, scholarship, and innovation. So for more than 100 years, um, we've really been at the forefront of patient care and innovating solutions to make our world a healthier and safer place. Uh, with the measles re-emerging and the record number of outbreaks in Texas, this is an issue that really affects all of us. And we here at Baylor felt like we just simply couldn't stand idly by. This position paper is really intended to raise awareness and improve understanding of this emerging public health crisis and also to spotlight the researchers, physicians, and policymakers who are affecting positive change. We think we really need outreach in addition to research and policy um, in order to have an influence in this space. Before the advent of vaccination, measles killed between five and eight million people annually. It's one of the most contagious of all infectious diseases and can spread among populations that have vaccine coverage rates greater than 90 percent. Typically to develop a vaccine uh, requires years, sometimes decades. They undergo at least uh, 10 years of uh, clinical testing, both for efficacy as, as well as safety. Uh, the, in the United States, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA has a very high bar for uh, allowing vaccines to be licensed and to be introduced to human populations. So they are, un without a doubt, the safest uh, biopharmaceuticals no known. I would urge those who think that vaccines are not safe to reconsider. Um, I would encourage them to look at the scientific literature and to talk to their physicians. It's absolutely essential that everyone who is eligible receive the measles vaccine. It's, it's essential for those individuals, for their own personal protection. It's essential for protecting other family members. As healthcare professionals, it's essential that we do it for ourselves, for our families, for our community, and for our patients. There are enough individuals in our community who can't take the vaccine for one reason or another, uh, either because of a, an impaired immune system or because they're on treatment uh, for cancer or for other conditions that prohibit the use of the vaccine. It, it's essential that those of us who um, are eligible take the vaccine to protect everyone. So our safety net is fragile in the sense that if we stop vaccinating, these diseases come back. Measles was eliminated from this country in 2000, and now in the year 2019, we've had more than 1,000 cases and a number of hospitalizations, including uh, ICU admissions. So it's really important that we um, tune out the uh, the misinformation coming from a very strong and aggressive anti-vaccine lobby, listen to your pediatrician and have your vac child vaccinated. And I think academic health centers and medical schools like Baylor College of Medicine are, uh, have a number of uh, experts in vaccines and vaccine safety. And it's important for us to speak out and be out there defending vaccines. I think it's essential for us as health professionals to take a position on this issue because there's just too much misinformation. And we shouldn't be afraid to stand up and say that vaccines really have been one of the greatest public health advances of the last hundred years. Uh, we need to be proud of that fact. I hope that the work that we're doing here at Baylor around this issue really empowers more people to uh, take measures to protect themselves and their communities from measles and other preventable infectious diseases.